Now, over the coming months, Premiership sponsors Aviva are going to start building a league table of the country's most passionate fans. Obviously, it's a very scientific experiment which began at Saturday's West Country Derby. Sounds like a job for Pete Richards. Well, rugby is a game based on emotion. From the players out on the park who need a desire to succeed, to the fans in the stand who have a passion for their home team. But which club has the most passionate fans? We all have our own ideas, but up until now it's never been scientifically proven. But all that's about to change. This is all about how passionate the fans are, how committed they are to their team. Aviva wanted us to scientifically evaluate how passionate the fans are, and that's what we're here to do. And how can you measure that? We measure that through a whole host of measures. We're measuring it psychologically, the commitment to the team, your mood, your anxiety, but we're also measuring it physiologically with spit samples measuring hormones and heart rate monitors measuring heart rate. And how accurate is it? It's highly accurate. We're measuring changes in time of your hormone levels. We're measuring changes in time of your heart rate. So it's second by second analysis. The test will take place across the Premiership at local Derby, starting here at King's Home today, where I'm sure there won't be any shortage of emotion. We're half an hour before kickoff. Are you nervous yet? Yes, I'm, you know, heart's beginning to thump and, you know, keen to get going. The tingle of being here, being alive being part of, of, of this family. Do you think you're going to get more your heart rate up more if you lose or you win? If I win, being a very passionate fan, thought now's the time to show my passion for the club. Um, put my name forward and was lucky enough to be picked. So today here I am with a heart monitor. Well, there's no doubt that these guys are diehard fans, but it's up to the players on the pitch to really get their hearts going. Let's see how they get on as Gloucester take on Bath, with your commentator, Charlie Broom. Come on, Gloucester! Today was all about, you know, a derby game, big crowd. It was all about us getting a bit of commitment, a bit of passion back for the Gloucester jersey. And, you know, you well know that, you know, if you do that here at Kingston, you get a big reaction. What can you say? Just being here with an atmosphere like this, it, it sends tingles down your spine. Do you think you were actually more your heart pounding from an anxiety point of view, from a happy or a sad? From a desperation point of view, to be quite honest. Yeah. And, uh, and sum up your team's performance, if you may. Could have been better. We just have to be more clinical in our own game. And um, if we are, obviously, defensively, we were, we were good again today. You know, uh, sides are not scoring tries against us easily, but we've got to do a bit more, I think, with our own attacking game. And uh, that's hopefully what we'll have in decent shape for next week. Well, the West Country derby certainly lived up to expectations, with Charlie Sharple's thrilling finish sending the Gloucester fans home happy. They were certainly the most vocal today, but were they the most passionate? Join us next week with the results. <laughs>